Trapunto is a traditional quilting technique that's made simple with Inspira's Quilt Design Creator. Hi, I'm Sonny Grint, and let me show you how to make a fun, quick, and simple Trapunto design that you can use on your embroidery machine or your quilt robot. When you begin your Trapunto design, simply start a new element. Choose the size of your block, the front of your bag, whatever you're making with your Trapunto. You can just change it simply right on screen. Now, by using the shapes, and we're just going to fill in the whole work area with a square block. Once we have that block, we'll change the properties to actually use a fill pattern. And we're going to choose the crosshatch fill and also choose a color. And let's have some fun. Let's change the theme to a summer theme and this pretty turquoise color. We don't want any line around the outside, so we'll simply choose no line and click OK. Once you're done, you can see how the screen has changed slightly in this color. Click out, and isn't that great? You can see the crosshatch right there. Really fast and easy to make a crosshatch area in any block that you have. Now to make the letter in your Trapunto, simply going to choose text, and I'm actually going to use one of the serif fonts. It's actually the Times New Roman font. Choose the letter, capital letter B, and there's my letter B. It's actually very simple because now, let's go ahead and make it a lot bigger. So you can make the letter any size, choose your first, last name, whatever you want, and place it in the center of your cross hatching. Now what makes this wonderful is with Trapunto, we want to get rid of everything within the letter B here. So to do that, I'm just going to use one of the icons and one of the functions in the Quilt Design Creator, and it's called Combine Paths. Click on that, click outside, and guess what? There's your Trapunto made specifically and easily with the letter B. The crosshatch fill goes all the way around it, but not inside the letter B. So then you can actually push more batting into that area if you choose. So it really is that fast and easy to create a Trapunto design that you can use for your quilt or remember our little bag. Don't you want to do that at home?